asking me if we sleep. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we try to, but I think when you are you are doing something that you truly believe in, and when you are not only dealing with statistics, but you are dealing with a life that you have actually faced, when you, you are thinking of 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 um, inspiring girl to go to school because you at, in my life have been in a place where I had no school fees to go to school. It, is, it doesn't just become something that has to be done. I understand the, 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 the impact of that. When, when you have to talk of maternal health care, but you've had you've had a, a, a dying baby until she's caught in your hand, then it's, it's no longer a job. It's something that you know has to be done. So I think we don't sleep because we understand the, the impact it's causing on people, and it's a duty. So without getting too personal, I think you're getting into how you, <coughs> the circumstances of your youth, how you grew up. How has that impacted this work? Mm. I always credit my dad, and, and I, I want to, uh, when, when uh, Stu said something about men, and he's like, it's not that bad. And I agree, it's not that bad, because <laughs> my dad was amazing. My dad was an amazing father, and he inspired me a lot. And I look so much up to him. He died when I was 10. That's when everything went, as the young people say. West or no? South. 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 I didn't even get it right. <laughs> South. And, um, <laughs> and, um, You're close. <laughs> and um, just just looking back at what my dad did and how he, he was able to inspire me, uh, he died when I was ten, but I'm now yeah some age, and uh, and I still remember what he told me. That is one thing that really inspired me. But I was also surrounded by um, family members that I like what Buzi was saying this morning. The spirit of Ubuntu in Africa. I am because we are we are raised by everyone. We are raised by our aunts and our uncles, and, and we are spanked by everyone also. And so, so I think for me, the whole spirit of the community that we are one people. And so when I do what I do, I don't do for me or for my immediate family. I'm doing for the entire community. So your country, um, over 70% of the population is under the age of 30. And you have a big dream. Talk to us about how you could achieve, if you're in it for the long game, as I think Sam said during her panel, talk to us about your dream mm. and how you would connect to those young people and be elected. You know, I always make a joke to say, uh, Africa forgets so fast, because our founding fathers, they are, they are at the age of 25 to 30, to 35 when they became the founding fathers. I don't know how, youth went so high when they became leaders. Because for me, young is just a state of mind. Because human beings are just human beings and their needs are real. Now let's define by the age demographic. The Tanzania Youth Policy defined a young person to be 15 to 35. And, 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 and also the youth are not a homogeneous demographic. They don't, it's not a homogeneous group, they come with different interests. They come with different age groups, different gender, different needs. I think we also need to identify that. And I think that's why we are setting up not only to service the youth that want to do civic engagement, but the women that want to engage with technology and innovation and STEM uh, factor. But also, because of so much unemployment in Tanzania, many young people consider themselves to be artists. And, and we have a lot of talented young people. So instead of just letting them die with their talent, then let's look for a way to harvest that into something that monetize, that can cook and give them a livelihood. So in the coming five years, the dream is, it's a dream, guys, we dream big, um, to start the art center in the country. Like we always joke in the office and say our own Juliet. And also uh, to have a youth-led media station that actually show, detail the narrative that builds mm -hmm. away from hate and, and so much negativity and hopelessness. There's so much 
beautiful case studies that the community are doing that we can actually bring up to right. say hope lives, you know, mm -hmm. but also to contribute to what the number of women that are going to run for office in the country. Well, I, I don't think we can get any better than that. This is your third time here. We hope you won't be a stranger. You'll come back again and again. Please, thank Abella. Congratulations.